Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the PRC's Shotgun Sunday, our latest in the series of our virtual shotgun house tour. My name is Danielle Del Sol. I'm the Executive Director of the Preservation Resource Center of New Orleans, and I'm very grateful that you're all joining us today. Uh, today is going to be a very exciting tour. Um, as you know, the Shotgun House Tour is sponsored by Entablature Design Build and Entablature Realty, um, and we're very grateful for their support. And we're very grateful that today we get to visit the home of Martin and Taylor Pospisil in the Irish Channel. Um, for those of you who have been longtime PRC fans and supporters and have been on our home tours, you may have already been in Martin and Taylor's home, beautiful Greek Revival double shotgun in the Irish Channel that actually serves as the Czech consulate for this region because Martin Pospisil is um, the Czech consul for um, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. So their home serves as um, the consulate for um, this region. But we are very lucky. Today's tour is going to be a little different because when you saw it, it looked very different than it looks today. Um, Martin and Taylor are on the very tail end of an extensive renovation that took their home um, to a single family house from what it was, which was before there was an owner's unit and a rental unit. Um, it reinstated the shotgun layout to a large degree. And they did some really interesting things with the renovation, um, with some of the historic elements of the home, restoring some of those, reusing some other historic elements in creative ways, um, commissioning wallpaper special for the home. So there's a lot of really exciting things to see as part of this renovation. And we literally caught them on the, at the tail end. The renovation is just wrapping up and they're gonna be moving furniture in next week. So we get to enjoy this house without the furniture to see all of, all of the, um, the parts of the renovation in their splendor. So um, this is gonna be a great tour. We're very excited um, that you're with us today. We thank Martin and Taylor for inviting us back into their home for a second round of the Shotgun House Tour. Um, and we thank all the homeowners, for those of you who've been watching several Sundays in a row now, who've invited us into their homes and helped support the PRC in this um, pandemic. As those of you who have been fans or followers or supporters of the PRC for a long time, no, the Shotgun House Tour is an annual fundraiser for the PRC. It's one of our most important fundraisers um, to support the PRC, which is a 46-year-old nonprofit. Um, and our mission is to protect the historic architecture and neighborhoods and cultural identity of this incredible city. Um, and we do what we do because of the support of um, our donors, our members, and our generous sponsors. And so to not be able to hold the Shotgun House Tour in person this year was really a huge blow to our budget and um, has been difficult. Like so many nonprofits, like so many businesses that are struggling, like so many people who are struggling right now, we are too. And so I'd like for you to please consider making a donation to the PRC today as you watch. Um, our suggested donation price is $25, which is the price of a ticket to the Shotgun House Tour, were we able to hold it in person, but any amount you're able to give is incredibly appreciated. Um, so if you're willing to donate today, you can do so at our website, www.prcno.org. And in the top right corner, you'll see a little button that says make a donation, click that, and you'll be able to enter your suggested, the donation amount that you're willing to give and follow through with the credit card information. It's very easy. So thank you so much for considering it. While you're on our website, you can also do other things. You can become a member of the PRC, which is a fantastic value. Memberships start at just $35 a year. And um, to, you know, becoming a member means that you get our magazine nine times a year straight to your mailbox, Preservation in Print. It's an award-winning magazine full of incredible content. We hear from so many members every year that they read the, the Preservation in Print cover to cover. So you don't want to miss a single issue. It's a great perk of membership. Um, you get free and reduced entry to our, pers our uh, events. And when we're able to be in person again, that'll be a great, <laughs> great boon once more. Um, and other member benefits. So please consider joining the PRC, supporting us as a member. We're, we completely rely on our members um, to, to do what we do every day. You can also shop while you're on our website. And that's very fun. We have great merchandise. Um, 
you're gonna love it. We have tote bags, as you can see here behind me. We have masks that are so popular, we have had to reorder them three times already. And we've, they've only been out for about a month. So they come in four fantastic designs. They're really comfortable. Um, this quilted material, it's not too thick. It's really comfortable on your face and fits snug, but not in a bad way. It's really actually my favorite mask and I'm not just saying that. Um, <laughs> and so shop these, they're $15, it's a great deal. They support our mission as well as keeping you safe. Um, we have fantastic t-shirts. You gotta check them out. They're hilarious. Great things like baby, baby got back with a shot, camelback shotgun on it. That's our shotgun house, shotgun house tour um, t-shirt du jour. And of course, you can also buy a copy of Building on the Past, Saving Historic New Orleans, our beautiful coffee table book that came out just last November, written by myself, Susan Langenhennig, and the illustrious John Pope, um, and photos by the incredible Chris Granger. The, the photos in this book will just knock your socks off. It's a wonderful book, a wonderful gift for anybody who loves New Orleans for any occasion. So please go to our website, shop, check us out, check out the free resources we have, any information you might want to know about historic neighborhoods, historic buildings. That's why we're here. We're a resource for the people who love um, historic New Orleans. So check us out. Um, I want to thank our, our sponsors who have made the Shotgun House Tour possible. We're so, so eternally grateful for their ongoing support, and especially this year when we came to them and said, this year's going to be different. We can't be with you in person. And they said, that's okay. We still want to support you. That meant the absolute world to us. So Entablature Design Build and Entablature Realty, thank you for being the lead sponsors of this year's Shotgun House Tour. I also want to thank our event chairs and sponsors, the Graham Bell Parker Group of Ladder and Bloom. They've been incredible two years in a row as our event chairs and sponsors. So thank you all so much. Um, they really worked with us this year to, to bring this event to life and to make this tour possible with the help of iMoto. Thank you to Louisiane, whose delicious ready to drink tea is the official beverage of the Shotgun House Tour. And we're gonna have a little video in just a moment um, showing you how to make a great cocktail with one of the great Louisiane tea flavors. Um, thank you to New Orleans Architecture Tours, to Zangara and Partners, to Hamilton Brothers Construction LLC, to Shack of Homa, the Southern Animal Foundation, to Albert Architecture, Audubon Tile Insurance Agency, I'm sorry, Audubon Title Insurance Agency, Crescent Title, Margaret Stewart, Sarah and Doug Stokes, Adamic Architecture, Cypress Building Conservation, Drink Beauty, Orient Express, and Weta Laudemy of Hill Riddle Jr. and Associates. Special thank you also to Hancock Whitney, who in addition to sponsoring Shotgun House Tour have also signed on as the first bank to sponsor our revival grants program, which brings free home repairs to low income um, homeowners in historic neighborhoods. And we're very proud to have debuted that, that program just last year at the PRC um, to keep people in their homes and in the neighborhoods that they have made special for all of us for so many years. Um, we at the PRC believe that our historic neighborhoods and homes are an asset for all members of our, of our community. And this grant program allows us to fight to ensure that the long-term residents of our historic districts are not displaced as their, their neighborhoods are revitalized. I also want to thank the following supporters who have made donations in more than one of our Shotgun Sundays over the, the past month and a half, um, or who have made a donation and become a member. You all, thank you so much. We are so grateful to you. Edward Vara, Catherine Harper, Dr. Cy DeVores, and Ms. Lynn Headley DeVores, William Pro, Peter Robertson, Lisa Collins, Mar Marlena Drake, Yolanda Grinstead, Abby Otillo, Debbie Pigman, Barry Armstrong, Mariana Kirkian, Diane Scully, Lenora Matuk, and Vale Tessier. Thank you all so much. We're so grateful. Welcome to the PRC family, and thank you so much for your generosity um, over the course of our Shotgun Sundays. So now I'm going to share very quickly um, a fabulous cocktail drink recipe made with our wonderful Louisiana tea. Hold on just one moment as I share my screen and you all can check it out. Thank you. 
I hope you all saw that. I'm not sure I did that right. I really hope you saw that. If you didn't, I apologize. Here is, oh, I'm not sharing the screen. Okay, let me play it one more time. I really apologize. It's 30 seconds long. I promise you will enjoy it. All right, now I'm sharing the screen. Let me pull it back up. Here we go, Roseanne Ice T. Here we go. Okay, 33 seconds long. You're gonna love it. got it that time. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm enjoying raspberry today. Um, I love, I love all of their flavors. This has been the best sponsorship of all time. Um, got, gotten to benefit from all of these wonderful flavors. Um, also, it's the little things that count. I know this sounds kind of silly, but I really appreciate that there's no high fructose corn syrup in these. And they're also the um, packaging is BPA free. So it's the little things that count. You can try all their flavors. We've got unsweet, we've got grain tea with honey, really good stuff. Um, I'm enjoying mine today in my Mignon Faget um, PRC cocktail glass, and you can buy those at the PRC as well, so check them out. All right, we're almost ready to get started with the tour. I know Martin and Taylor on st are standing by for us. I want to explain how this works for those of you who are new um, to our Shotgun Sundays. So for those of you who registered on our website and are joining us today via Zoom, you can see us, but we cannot see you. Um, we, um, but you can communicate with us and we want you to communicate with us. So at the bottom of the screen, there is a button that says chat and there's a button that says Q&A. So as Taylor and Martin are giving us a tour, if you have a question about anything that you see along the way, just click the Q&A button, submit your question. I'll be reading all of them in the background and I'll pop in um, occasionally with Taylor and Martin and ask them questions as they go along the tour so that I can hopefully address all of your questions. At the end of the tour, we'll also have um, about 10 minutes to, so that they can answer any questions we didn't get to. If they're not able to answer your question on screen, I will make sure and remember your name, get your contact info and follow up with you after the session is over. If you're experiencing any technical difficulties um, or have any other comments or questions, you can also use just the chat feature and I'll be checking that as well. For those of you who are watching via Facebook Live, I will try to um, check in periodically throughout the session on Facebook and see your questions in the comments stream there and try and get those addressed. If I don't get to you, again, we will follow, try and follow up with you after the um, tour is over. So let's get started. Martin and Taylor Pospisil are our, our wonderful hosts today. Um, Martin, as I mentioned, is the honorary consul for the Czech Republic for Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama, and their home serves at the, as the regional Czech consulate. Um, Taylor works for Broadmoor Construction and Bow Brothers and actually has PRC in her blood. Um, not only has Taylor been a chair or on the committee of many, many PRC events throughout the years, and we love her to death and are so grateful to her, um, but she's also the daughter of Larry Schmidt, who was the PRC's first director back in 1974. So she is truly PRC family, and we are so grateful to be joined um, to be hosted by them today. Um, Taylor and Martin will also be joined for a period of the tour by Beetle Hillary of Palm Orleans who helped design some of their custom wallpaper. So for those of you who are wallpaper fans, be ready to be asking your questions and you're really gonna love this tour. So Martin and Taylor, are you there? Hi, welcome, hey come on in. Welcome to our home. We're so excited to be showing off our renovation to you. And as you can see, um, we're, we're still under construction. We have about a week left uh, of work and we're hopefully gonna be moving into the house next weekend. So I'm glad you're here and, and able to take a peek before all the furniture gets in. Um, just a quick little overview of the history of the home. I think the home is about 150 years old. Um, we bought the house in 2014 from Edwin Jackson. Him and his partner rented into a double 
And a unique thing about this is, is that the double was a front and back double. So typically you'll see shotguns where it's a side-by-side -side double, but this home was renovated to a front living quarters and a back living quarters. Um, and uh, we just renovated into a single family home with a mother-in-law suite attached. So we're really excited to show y'all what we've done. So this is just the part of the room. And you can see this is a really great open space. Um, one of the main things that we wanted to accomplish when renovating our house was creating a space that was large enough for our family. We've got two little girls, Olivia Rose and Charlotte. Um, but our home also serves as the Czech consulate here in New Orleans. So we needed a space to be able to welcome guests, um, entertain, have parties. We love to entertain. So we wanted to make sure that the home was set up for all those purposes. So just a few little things about this, this front room. You can see in this room right here that we've got these beautiful Greek key pocket doors. Uh, these are all original to the house. And originally, um, you know, the, the house was separated with the wall down, down the center, which created the two sides to be with the shotgun look to it. Um, and now we've opened it up and have this great entertaining space. A few more things about the pocket doors. Um, we, we took out the pocket doors on both sides. We really didn't use them. And um, we reused the doors from the pocket doors as paneling in this dining room right here. And we also used the pocket doors in the breakfast room for the cabinets, which we'll get to in a second. So we really tried to reuse everything in this house. We haven't had to buy a single door, a single doorknob. Everything was just reused doors and reused doorknobs. So that was one special feature. I want to make sure that y'all notice as we're going through the house. So as we come in here, you'll see these beautiful pocket doors that were reused for, for the paneling. Uh, we created a fireplace here, just kind of tie this room together. This is going to be the formal dining room. And I just love the way the, the, the doors look in here. This room is uh, Benjamin Moore King's red. It's one of the Williamsburg colors. And it's also one of the colors of Czech Republic. So we wanted to tie in a little bit of the Czech Republic in the house. So we thought kind of bringing some reds into the house really kind of give it that feel for the Czech consulate here. Right. And this used to be our bedroom. And this was wall, so this opening was created to uh, to allow the access from uh, the dining room to the kitchen. To create easy, easy frame. Right. Um, one other detail is that all of the windows in the house work. We made sure that when we were renovating, all of the shutters were operational, all of the window sashes work um, on a you know beautiful spring day that we don't get so often, and we're able to open the windows and let the beautiful weather in. Um, so right. that's one, one fun feature of it. Right, so it's not really you know, energy efficient, but we love the character of the house and we care about it so much that uh, we uh, just really want to preserve that. Uh, we, you know, the original uh, uh, window cables. So uh, in that room, you would actually see the original handles on, on, the, on those windows, you would just pull up all the way to the ceiling and just walk into the porch, which is a uh, Great feature, and we love to do that um, when uh, when we entertain people, or if we just want to uh, enjoy the porridge and uh, uh, whatever is happening outside. Right. So I guess we'll go this way. Um, and one thing about the house that I really love is you kind of get the shotgun feel because you know a, a traditional shotgun house is one room leading into the next. And if you stand right here, you really get that shotgun feel where you're standing in this front parlor and you're able to see through every room to, to the exit of the house, to the exit of the back door, which I think is just a great little feature. So. Which that's what was not like before when we bought the house. Originally, it was a small house, just basically half of it, just the front. The previous owners uh, added the uh, camelback to it and they had the shotgun uh, convert it to uh, two units, front and the back. And we basically kind of open it up back to a you know, kind of like modern style of shotgun when you, you can still see continuously through the house on both sides. So 
this this room we're using as a breakfast room and i don't think i noted this when we first uh, walked in but the house is now i think we have um five bedrooms four bathrooms so this this room right up here in on the second floor this is going to be used this is a full bedroom a full bathroom this is going to be used as the um consulate office here so that's a full bedroom, full bathroom, uh, and that's currently just storing our furniture. So I'm not going to take y'all up there, but but it is a really great space. It's part of the attic, right, Martin? Is it part of the attic space? Um, currently, used to be, right? Yeah. Which was converted into a room. Right. So um, this is one thing I wanted to point out. So here are the doors. Here are the pocket doors that we removed from the casing, and um, our designer sandy stall with crestu stall here she did a great job of designing the layout for these beautiful doors you can see how thick they are um and our contractor stuart schmidt with renaissance renovations did a great job creating these beautiful built-ins these were not here before we recently just added these we added the window seat so this is going to be now a breakfast room uh, before it was just kind of a room i didn't really know what to do with it it didn't really serve a purpose but now we actually are turning this into space much needed storage as you can see a lot of great storage now um, so there's you know lots of great ways to reuse doors and repurpose doors and then one thing about the floors um, we made a last minute decision to pickle them i'm glad we did because it really opened up the whole house it just it, really brought light into the house and just makes everything flow really well. So, right, so these are all original floors. So as we original. get to uh, the addition, you will see a different type of floor in there. We'll talk about it a little bit later. Okay. So I, I guess we'll just go through the kitchen and we'll make our, our way around. Um, originally, we were going to do a kitchen renovation, but um, we ended up not doing a kitchen renovation. And Sandy did a great job of helping us figure out what to do with the kitchen to make it more efficient. So we kept our, our cabinets, um, we kept the countertops, we just painted it. We added some new cabinets over here, added a vent hood, um, and it, it works really, really well now. And this painting, I just wanted to put out, I put it out because I kind of designed um, the, the kitchen around the painting. This is a Wayne Alladay painting and I love the colors in it. So this was kind of a, a focus point for the uh, color that we went with it here. Um, but the color also goes really well with the stainless steel. So Sandy did a great job with that. Um, and then just another note that the, the red also we decided on based off of another painting that we had. So we kind of took the art that we had in the house and designed the house around that art and around the colors that we like. So that's kind of how we came up with the colors that we came up with with the help of Sandy. Um, she was really great with that. So that's it with the kitchen. Um, this tile here, this is just a picket tile from Coastal Tile. It just added a really nice refreshed touch to the kitchen. And so here, just wanted to show everybody these great Louisiana cocktails we have. These are Louisiana uh, bourbon mint juleps. Uh, and what I did was I took some Louisiana tea, boiled it with about a cup and a half of mint leaves, a cup of sugar, let it cool, and then added bourbon to it. And so now we have these delicious cocktails that you're going. And mm -hmm. that it's a exciting. tea <laughs> mint julep. So cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to the PRC. Yeah, cheers to the PRC. So uh, let's just go back this way and we'll go for the master. It's a little bit more easy. So right here, this door, as you can see, it just, we kind of, it's kind of a trick door and it's paneling, but it opens up into the master suite. And so this room um, is going to be our nice bedroom now. And this color on the wall, is Benjamin Moore silver satin, and it just adds a really pretty color to this whole suite back here. We went sandy red with grays um, in the bathroom, and this complemented really well the colors that we have to put it out in that suite. So we added this closet. Um, you know, as most old New Orleans homes go, there's very limited storage space. 
So before we renovated, we were sharing a very, very small closet. And now we did this really great, our contractor did a great job with this. We have a great little closet now, pop the light on. Great closet, built ins on the outside. And, and by the way, where Taylor is standing, that's, that, that, that's where the wall was, the separation between two units, the front and the back. So uh, where she is right now, which is our master bathroom, that used to be our tenant's uh, uh, dining room. So we opened it all up um, and just, you know, it's not a large bathroom, but it's certainly, it, it's definitely great use of the space. So we have this beautiful, we um, got the cabinets from Lowe's and Sandy picked out a really pretty fine paints of Europe gray. And I'll be happy to get the color for anybody if they'd like it. I don't know that on the top of my head, but I can definitely get that for y'all if you'd like. Um, this really pretty um, countertop and, and tile. So now one thing I did want to point out was the floors are large board floors. And so I'm not sure if, if any of y'all are familiar with large board floors or the history of large board floors, but it's very typical of these old shotgun homes uh, to see these floors. And they're called barge board floors because they're from the barges that used to come down Mississippi. And um, this is what the barges were, were built of. And when they would dock here, these, they would take them down and build the houses. And if you look and see these squares, um, in the barge board were where the ropes would tie the barge board together. Um, and so you can just see where that's where the ropes used to be. And the wood is uh, poplar wood. And it's a very green wood. When we were sanding it, um, you, you could see how green the wood actually was. Um, and the houses, a lot of the houses were actually built with this wood. They would put the wood up. Um, they put wallpaper over it, siding on the other side, and, and that's how they would construct some of the old houses. So we definitely wanted to keep all of this beautiful wood in the house, and you'll see it again on the other side, uh, just because it's so historically significant to, to how these houses were originally built. Yeah. It's very thick as well. It's very thick. Thick. So, But it's definitely a different <laughs> color. So we really had to work. When we, were, when we were pickling the floors, we really had to work with it to get the color right because these boards are so green. And it was difficult to kind of maneuver, but we, it worked out. So, okay, so let's go back to the kitchen and we'll go to the top. Okay. Go back this way. Okay, so we'll go this way and we're going to go into the powder room. And Beetle, Beetles is here. Beetle uh, Celery with Paul Marlene's, and she is here and she is going to kind of talk about her wallpaper. This is our powder bathroom. And we went um, with, with her wallpaper because we just loved it. I loved the carnival fall, so take it away, Beetle. Um, well, I'm Beetle, Paul Marlene's. Um, I originally paint all the patterns and then I turn them into prints. And they're all hand screen printed, which really is an art in itself. Uh, all the patterns are heavily inspired by Palm Beach and New Orleans, two cities very um, rich with history and culture, uh, which can be appreciated in PRC. And uh, but they're also they're both in the south and. I designs. And for instance, in uh, the carnival twelve that Taylor picked out. Um, Yes, it's a twall, but twalls are usually smaller scale and hand block vignettes and whereas and theme theme related where this is still has a theme of you know Mardi Gras. Um it's overscale, it's all hand painted. Um so I was excited Taylor chose this because I know she loves entertaining and she's on the parade route. So um and she chose the Rex colorway, but you can see here there's the flamingo. Garden District, um, Seersucker. I really love to give context whenever I can to um, reference the inspiration. And Beetle, do you, Beetle, do you have a uh, fabric that goes with this as well? I do, yes. Everything, all, all the fabrics are hand screen printed as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Beetle's, Beetle's going to join us again when we're upstairs. We have um, some other of her wallpaper <laughs> to show. So just a little bit about this room. This is the barge board again um, in here. And you can see 
you know, how, how beautiful it is and how thick it is and how wide the planks are, the very wide planks. So this one, was this the end of the original Yeah, house? it was actually right here. And so what we're entering is the addition, which was more like a more modern uh, part of the house. And, and again, the previous owners, they both were actually designers, very well-known designers. Uh, they, they just did a phenomenal job with uh, uh, this addition because it, uh, it's completely different than the front, yet it is just so, um, so fitting uh, to the front part of the house, and you'll be able to see it as you, uh, as you get into this area. It's something that, you know, as you walk in here, um, people typically don't expect to see what they're about to see. And that is, that, again, the vaulted ceiling that you can see in the front, but with the addition uh, of, uh, of the rooms upstairs in the balcony. And, and in this room, we carry the king's red. Um, so as you can see, when you rang the doorbell, um, the king's red's on the front door. We brought it into the dining room, and we also brought it into this library bar room um, area to just kind of lighten it up and give it a little life in here. So we're excited about that. So this is uh, going to be the family room, TV room. I love the brick in there. I think it adds a nice touch to this room. And then we're going to go to the courtyard. And we really, we recently just um, put the new pavers in. These are permeable pavers back here. This is going to be used as a driveway and uh, courtyard living space. So we'll have a separate entrance back here, a driveway gate. Um, and this is just going to be a really great space when it's done. And as you can see over here, this is going to be the entrance to the mother-in-law suite. So the mother-in-law suite, you have access to it from the house, but you can also close it off if you ever wanted to Airbnb it. Um, you know, we, we will have that option as well. And I'll show you that space when we get inside. We're actually very fortunate that we have a nice sized courtyard. I know not all of these old houses have this large space back here. So this is the guest suite. And uh, we're actually living back here right now. We're, we're living in the house as we're renovating. So this, this is kind of where we're staying. So it'll be all ready to go soon right. to now so, or for guests. So th this used to be a kitchen of uh, the back uh, unit, uh, large tenant's uh, apartment. Um, uh, what, what you see is a back there is our bathroom. And that's basically, so, so that used to be the dining room. It was split between uh, this bathroom and our master bathroom. And we added this great little coffee bar. So when guests come over, we have a coffee bar, um, sink, refrigerator, and this used to be the old cabinet from the old kitchen. So we just repurposed that, got a slab, um, and it turned out really great. Sandy designed this for us, and she did a great job. And again, a barge with flooring uh, throughout this entire guest suite. Uh, with different finish, just stained. Yeah, this one was just stained. In, in the bathroom, um, that's a that was part of the kitchen as well. Actually, it was probably part of the old dining room. Correct. And we, we turned it into the into the bathroom. And Sandy did the design for the bathroom as well with crushed used off first. So we'll be looking to have our first guest to the guest room or Martin's mother. Martin's mother lives in the Czech Republic, so we're right. an anxiously awaiting for her to be able to travel again and come see us. Right, so that's a guest suite. Now we're about to enter upstairs, which is uh, our daughter's suite. You want to come upstairs? I think we'll all go back upstairs. Yeah. Now. So this is the second floor, and I'll go first here. This is basically the girls' pink palace up here. Um, everything's pink. I love pink, and my girls love pink. So I just really couldn't help myself. Um, when we originally moved in, we had, there was just this very, there was this one bar that went across the top and we knew we had to replace it. So we got this made and it still feels very open and airy and we love this aspect of the house. This is the girls' room. It's, it's coming along. We're, we're still working on putting everything together, but um, these beds are, Supposedly from the Ursuline convent, um, we got them at an estate sale and recently we covered them. 
my mom made these really great I guess you call them canopies. Yeah. Canopies. And all the fabric came from Fairfax Fabric Company on Magazine. Um, I, I worked with Patricia and she's really great to work with. Did a great job. And these classic doors are really nice as well. These were part of the original house. And then one thing I do want to point out are the doorknobs. All of these doorknobs um, I had, they were all part of the house. Um, I took them all off, had them all polished up at Zito's and we didn't have to buy a single doorknob. Everything was just reused, repolished, and it looks great now. Now we'll move back. This needle helped us with the wallpaper as well. So this is the girls' space up here. Um, we added these great cabinets here uh, to add for some extra storage. And this bathroom used to be just a double shower. And we decided that with two girls, you know, a double shower really isn't functional. So we added a bathtub um, in one shower to make it much more user friendly for two little ones. And then, of course, we have this great wallpaper. Um, uh, the Beatles go over. I could not be more excited about this wallpaper. It was originally custom for Taylor, but it'll be in the full collection in the fall. And um, I love that it's a classic stripe again, but then there's detail. It's all based off of uh, Peter Sham ribbon. And it's exciting. Does it come in any other colorways? It comes in other colorways. It will come in other colorways. And this is actually printed on vinyl, which is really nice for the girls to, um, to Trip or right, what, yeah. to live, yeah, yeah. So, yes, yeah, so we're really excited about it. And the little sconces, oh, the sconces, the yeah, Kate's Bay sconces, yeah. they match the apron really well. It just, it's, it's perfect for two little girls. And we reused these, uh, these vanities. These were downstairs, and then they were part of the house. So we reused those, and Sandy designed the rest of the bathroom for us. So we love this space. Definitely a nice large bathroom. So I guess we'll go back downstairs and answer any questions that people may have. Yeah, and then we have a playroom, but it's it's storing boxes right now, so we'll spare y'all. And then one other little thing I wanted to know about the powder bathroom. So when we were doing the powder bathroom, um, it actually serves as the master bathroom um, wash closet. <laughs> um, because of space limitations, we didn't necessarily need two toilets in this area. So we thought, let's just put a pocket door. So when we entertain, we'll close it off. And then when we're not entertaining, it serves as the master area so nice little design feature okay so anybody has any questions Taylor and Martin this has been amazing this is really exciting thank you so much for the great tour um, let's start um, by asking what's still functional in the house so you you showed us a fireplace there's lots of beautiful it looks like original windows throughout the entire shotgun um, are those functional? Do they work? What what do you, what's going on with the historic elements here? <laughs> yeah, so so the windows we're really proud to say are all functional. Uh, Martin, all the sashes. Did we have to refigure the sashes, or did the sashes? All no, work? they they all uh, the original windows. They're all functional, of course. So so we have three windows uh, in the front, uh, and of course when this was a, a original shotgun, it was a door over there door over here um and uh, so so that has become a fixed window but these two windows they still have the original box which i, I love mm -hmm. i mean they're you know look if it wants to get somebody in the house you can easily do that they're not very practical but they're beautiful um the way they look they, they the way they operate um so you can pull these uh these sashes uh floor pot part sashes all the way up to the ceiling and you can literally just walk uh, you know into into the porch and like i said earlier we, we often do that 
you're obviously an Irish channel, so when we have an Irish channel parade, we're only one block away from magazines. Uh, it's a great amount of fun just to open up the house and enjoy all the uh, activities uh, on the street. So, so both windows are uh, uh, operable. The same with the rest of the windows. Um, so that's that's the part of the original or the feature, you know, the original house. Um, you know, and, and uh, yeah, I, I kind of uh, look. I, I'm an engineer, so I'm, I pay attention to detail. And it drives me crazy when I don't see something to be straight or square, right? So, but I take those things as part of the original feature of the house. So when you look at the, when you look at the door, there's nothing square about it, right? But the door is the original door of the house. You can actually see that it's not square at all by any means right here. And you can actually see, even, <laughs> you can see it even more so of, from, from, from the exterior, uh, but, um, you know, that, that's the thing, we just love it. We just uh, love the, uh, the history of the house and, uh, and all those uh, original features that come with it. Um, so uh, we've been enjoying it very much so. One of the viewers noticed above you the beautiful beams on the ceiling. Are those original that you know? Yes, they are. So those are the original beams, yes. Yes. Very cool. Another viewer wonders, where are the AC ducts? You've done a wonderful job hiding those. So they're in the attic. You can see those two vents right there. So that's part of the attic. Um, and then... Um, well, we, we painted the ones in here. So, uh, you know, if you remember, we, we, in, in that room, we had the uh, staircase going up where my office is. On, on, so so we, we kind of, you know, so, so the, the part of the attic was taken over by that office. On this side, uh, uh, that's where the, the full attic is. That's where we get the AC unit. So the ducts are uh, run basically through, through the attic. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and so that's the thing. So, so the, this house, the kind of like a unique thing about this house is that, that the front and the back has folded ceiling. Um, and so the AC ducts are run through, through the attic, obviously, um, as, you know, it's, look, we don't have much of a space available in the attic. <laughs> but, and that's the thing, you know, um, I, I wish I could take you into that uh, attic uh, space, which is my office, because you would see what uh, the previous owners, those two designers did with the house. They, they really did a great job of, uh, utilizing every square inch of the house. They build these uh, uh, closets um, uh, that are basically in the attic. They, they try to maximize space of the house. And so uh, uh, we've been able to enjoy it. Taylor and Martin, I know you all identified the wood in previous parts of the house. And I think that if you were miss this part of the house, what is the wood that you all pickled in this room? I think it's pine. Yeah, I don't know. Actually. I'm pretty sure it's pine. It's it was so when we sanded the floor, um, the the wood is so old. It, it's it was so red. It had so much much red in it. Um, I'm pretty sure that it was pine. And if I'm wrong about that, I will definitely make sure to um, let oh, no. let Danielle know. Yeah, right. But I'm pretty sure it's pine. It, it was beautiful when we sanded it. It was absolutely gorgeous. Um, but we decided instead of, of staining it, we were going to pick for it. It's beautiful. It really adds a lightness to the mm. whole house. It's a beautiful Perfect. finish. Thank you. Yes. Um, were you all, did you all have to add any sort of insulation as part of the renovation? We often hear um, <laughs> problems with <laughs> grass. Yeah. Good question. Only, only what we added by, by code, right? When we, whatever we renovated, uh, rest of it is uh, again like i said you know this is a uh, uh, it's, it's a historic house so we know there are certain inefficiencies in this house with this with these windows you know and our, also with the pocket doors another reason why we took the pocket doors out was because it was just sucking air out the gaps in between the doors um it yeah. really it, it was really sucking air out of the house so that's another reason why we removed the doors and we put the paneling and the cabinet doors. 
right? But I mean, you, you know, often you can see gaps uh, between the windows. Uh, um, again, it's just it's just something that we uh, we're okay to live with um, because we're living in an old house. I'll just have to get a lot of drinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When you all took it from a double to a single, did you have to rewire the home to make it a single or do you still have two meters running? <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, it, 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 that, that was part of the, uh, yeah, when, when I applied for the permit that the city requested for me to uh, uh, convert, uh, so we had two meters, uh, we still do. Uh, that's just something that the electrician will be actually finishing up next week, converting those two panels into a, single meter unit um so yes we will have to do that yeah and and, and, and a lot of the a lot of the uh, electrical wiring was redone yes interesting um i want to remind uh viewers that if you have a question for taylor and martin please click either the q a button at the bottom or the chat button and type in your question and i'll be able to read it to them live um martin we have a question about your role as the consul and um, you know, can you tell us a little bit about what that entails and in terms of your home and using your home, um, how much entertaining do you all do? How much hosting do you all do because of your role? Yeah, it's funny. Everybody keeps asking about it. Yeah, it's like my hobby, right? That's not what I do because <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, I'm a, a, you know, my, my profession is an engineer, but uh, yeah, so I'm honorary counsel of the Czech Republic to, uh, United States representing uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama, and I, I could be more proud. I'm, I'm Czech American. I have a dual citizenship. I was uh, raised and born. Uh, I was born and raised in Czech Republic. Uh, I spent the last 20 years of my life in uh, in the United States. 10 years, last 10 years in New Orleans, uh, which is the place I absolutely love. That's my home. You rebuilt the levees. Well, yeah, yeah, I came here to build the levees, uh, and I fell in love with the city uh, and people. Uh, you know, I, I and I like I, I, I traveled around the country because I'm a civil engineer, so I was moving from project to project around the country. And um, when I moved to New Orleans, it really hit it so close to my heart. Uh, New Orleans are so close to what I'm used to uh, um, uh, from you know living in Europe. Um, but, completely different uh, culture, different kind of people uh, compared to the rest of the country. Uh, it was just, um, it was actually really made me stay in the United States. I, would, I moved here from Dallas. I was about to move back to Czech Republic before I moved to New Orleans. And it, uh, it did change my, um, my expectations about uh, what was uh, waiting for me. And, um, and I fell in love with this place. Um, and, uh, and, uh, uh, the rest is the history and so um yes so my role um i represent the czech republic it's exciting and it's, it's a huge honor um to me uh the, to my family and um in fact this uh um november um we really don't know for sure because of the situation we're all in because of COVID 19 but we have a big meeting scheduled for november Member with uh, all honorary councils of the Czech Republic in the United States coming to New Orleans, including the ambassador of the Czech Republic to the United States and and, uh, and uh, deputy minister of foreign affairs from the Czech Republic. And we still hope that we can uh, welcome everybody, everybody here in New Orleans in November and uh, and uh, show show them what New Orleans is about. In fact, the ambassador himself loves loves New Orleans. I mean, he. We welcome, we, we, uh, we had him here twice in the last couple of years and he just wants to come back. Uh, that was the whole reason why he asked us to organize the, the annual meeting uh, of all honorary councils in, in New Orleans. Um, so there's a large Czech community here in New Orleans. And, we yeah. often have them to answer the question a little bit. Yeah. We often have them to our home to either help them, Martin will help them with the passport or um, an emergency passport or whatever right. it is. So, so we do often have them to our home. Yeah. So uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, responsibilities uh, that uh, come along with the with the uh, with the function, but it's all honorary function, obviously. It's not something I get paid for. It's something I uh, love to do. Uh, help Czech citizens uh, living in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama, and also help uh, any uh, 
any Americans who want to travel to uh, the Czech Republic. And a big part of it is also economic development between the two countries. So there is a lot that um, that is expected from me, but I, I do it with love uh, because obviously the Czech Republic is my motherland. And it's just a really great honor to do it here in New Orleans because this is my home. This is uh, where I love to live and this is uh, where my family is. That's inspiring, Martin. Thank you so much for explaining all of that. I, a few of our viewers did have questions. It's a very special, it's about the most special hobby I can imagine. So <laughs> thank yeah. you for all you do. <laughs> um, Taylor and Martin, we have a few questions about specific rooms. And so um, we have a question about the kitchen and about the powder room. So maybe we can make our way back there, but then at the end, um, several of our viewers have asked if we could see the front so i don't know how well our internet will hold up we'll leave that for the very end <laughs> uh, it would be it'd be super if we could see that at the very end um we had a question about um just i'm sorry if you already talked about this but the color of the cabinets and sure. the pile of the backsplash okay so um i'm gonna have to get back to the, the color because sandy Staub actually color matched this for me um to another color because again, we really wanted to match. She really wanted to match the gray and the countertop. This countertop was here. So basically we built this kitchen around the countertop and the existing cabinets. Um, and the color was matched to match the stainless steel and to go with the painting that we have here. So I will get back to you on the color. Um, I don't have the number offhand, but I'll be happy to get that to um, Danielle. Now, the tile back here was just a picket tile from Coastal Tile. They have a local office in Mississippi, um, and we wanted something simple that kind of matched the B board, that kind of had the same feel as the B board, kind of vertical feel. So uh, that's why she chose that uh, tile. I, I think it works really well. And we chose a gray, I think it's like a pewtery color grout. Um, to pick up the gray in the cabinets and the stainless steel and the countertops. It's beautiful, Taylor. It's um, it's simple but adds a lot in. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful but simple in it in in its way. It's been great because we just reused the cabinets. I mean, we we didn't buy new cabinets. We decided not to do a kitchen renovation, um, and it, it worked out fine. We, we added this cabinet right here to kind of extend the kitchen a little bit. Add a little bit more storage, and it worked out really well. I, I don't think there was any. But the hardware was was here. That was That's there. great. That probably saved con a considerable amount of money. Yeah, well, yeah. which is always good. <laughs> it did. Um, we have a question. Uh, one of our viewers loves the mirror in the powder room. Oh, okay. They say it looks great with the gold in the wallpaper. What is the material of the frame and can you tell us where you purchased it? So the material of the frame is it's a metal and it looks like it's, um, it's a metal with a gold leaf finish. And I'm pretty sure that I got that from One King's Lane, but I can definitely get back to you on that. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, okay. I, I think it's great with the wallpaper. I think it, it's perfect with the wallpaper. It does. It matches beautifully. And those light fixtures on either side are frame it beautifully as well. Those are from Shades of Light. Um, if we can make our way back towards the front, one of our viewers would love to see the ceiling medallion in the dining room. Oh, sure. So the ceiling medallion, Martin, can you help us with this? This was original. This was here when we bought the house. Uh, um, yes, but I don't think there's not much, nothing really much special about this. I mean, in many houses you can see yeah. much. Yeah, much this, is, this is here when we bought it. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm assuming it made it original to the house. Sure. But I don't know the history of the medallion. Um, but we did, we wanted to accent it. So, uh, we painted it the ballet white. So the whole front of the house is ballet white. Um, and this room is, is the king's room. So we thought by painting the casing the white and then the medallion the white, that would help kind of set it off a little bit. So this is really amazing. It's a beautiful contrast. Um, one one of our viewers has asked about the chandelier. Was that there, or did you purchase that yourself? We purchased that. That's actually from Restoration Hardware. But we, oh, we saw it was very fitting 
for the style of the work that we're going for. Absolutely. Maybe one day, maybe one day, Mark will buy you a beautiful Czech crystal chandelier. We're going to make Czech crystal chandelier to hang here. <laughs> Czech Republic it's, it's not known by GPS. Yeah. Czech, Czech Republic's known for their beautiful uh, crystal. They have absolutely gorgeous crystal chandeliers. My necklace is actually crystal from Preciosa. Um, and they have beautiful crystal. So, in fact, I, I don't want to make a, an advertisement for anybody, but the, 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 some of the, uh, the Czech crystal chandeliers are at Montreal Hotel. Uh, Rich Carlton, and they're actually designing uh, chandeliers for Four Seasons Hotel and World Trade Center. So I'm very proud of that. Um, when you all completed the renovation, what did it leave you with in terms of square footage and numbers of bedrooms and bathrooms? Okay, so now we're at about a total of 2,900, 3,000 yeah. square feet. Right. Um, and we have five bedrooms and four full bathrooms. And that includes, so when I say that, that includes Martin's office. Martin's office in the attic is a full bed, it's, it's a full bedroom bathroom um, set, and the mother-in-law suite is a full bedroom bathroom. So that's inclusive of the five bedrooms, four full bathrooms. So it's it's a large house. We, we went from living in 1,800 square feet with two kids to 3,000 square feet, so. Yeah, but in, during construction, we were living in all the shoe yeah. it, it, it's It's been yeah. really rough. Uh, uh, last During construction, 10 months. So. yeah, yeah. As you can imagine, it's, it's been really rough because both of us had to work from home because of COVID. Schools were closed, um, and we have construction workers here. So it was um, this drink is really helping a lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bless y'all's hearts! My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're not the only ones. I know everybody had to do with the same. So, but it, it's been yeah, it's been a long journey, and we're so excited. Yeah. Hoping to finish next week. Yeah. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Thank um, you. Would you all be willing to take us outside so the viewers could see the exterior? Yeah. Of the yeah, I just to say, the outside is not finished. The porch is not finished. We've got a ton of stuff on the front porch, but more than welcome to Well, for those of you um, who are, are still here and listening with us, you can check out the story about Taylor Martin's home from the March issue of Preservation in Print. Um, and it has a very clean photo of the exterior, not that we care, Taylor, not one bit at all. Um, and it has more information and a floor plan of the home. So go to our website, prcno.org, and you can see all of that there. But thank you, Taylor, for taking us on the porch. It looks great, y'all. Thank you. It's coming along, so. Thank you for uh, the opportunity to show it. And if anybody has any more questions about anything, I'm happy to just send them to uh, Danielle and we'll get them answered for you. So thank great. you for joining. Thank you, Taylor and Martin. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Thanks. Same to you. Thank you. You too. Right. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Viewers, thank you so much for joining us today um, as for the Shotgun House Tour Shotgun Sunday. I want to remind you to visit us at prcno.org to shop, to become a member, to make a donation. Your support means the world to the PRC. We're a 46-year-old nonprofit, and we rely on the generosity of our supporters, our members, our donors. So thanks to all of you who have donated today, who are members of the PRC. We are truly grateful to you, and we are one big PRC family. Um, thank you to those of you who submitted questions. For those who I didn't get to, I'm taking down your information and hope to follow up with you in coming days. I want to thank our very wonderful and talented staff, Liz Jury who shot today's video, Davis Allen and Danielle Watson, who are both behind the scenes making all of this happen. Thank you both, thank all three of you so much. So grateful to have you on our team. Thanks everyone for watching. Tune, again, tune in again next week. We'll be back Sunday at four o'clock for our next Shotgun Sunday. Thanks again and have a wonderful rest of your weekend.